In this video, I'm gonna be your PC guide, your PC doctor, your PC principal. What the fuck is a PC doctor? Guys, time is ticking. I'm gonna show you how to build a PC from start to finish at 15 minutes. We better get started, alright? Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the full process of building a PC, putting it together, the whole assembly from start to finish. This, guys, isn't rocket science. I cannot stress this enough. I want you to understand that now. A few things to have in mind before yeah, we approach this. You need a few things. You need a knife, some sort of let's see if i can get this and focus you need some sort of knife a mandatory tool here another pretty important tool is gonna be the uh, screwdriver now another thing that i hear a lot of talk on the net is obviously the esd protection uh, guys you don't need that you don't need that silly stuff these components are esd protected already don't worry about it few components has got to be necessary we need a processor in this case we got the ryzen um the ryzen 2400g with uh, a built-in graphics card both graphics and cpu on a single ship here we got eight gigs of gddr4 but you're gonna need some sort of memory we got that uh, also you're gonna need storage in this case we're gonna use an ssd a solid state drive of 240 gigabytes from kingston uh, we also have a motherboard ready this is the uh, gigabyte ab 350n which is a mini itx motherboard and uh, yeah we're gonna need some sort of power supply to uh, to make all the components come to life in this case we're gonna be using the Corsair's CX 650M which is a CMI modular uh, power supply unit and last but uh, far from least the case itself in this build we're gonna use the NZXT H200i uh, that supports mini ITX. This is a pretty small build as you can see guys now with that said We better get started because the time is actually ticking another thing to have in mind It's a great idea to have at least one or two friends in your life that owns a PC and Internet connection it can be a great idea to have at least another PC running in the background in case you need necessary drivers for your new PC I have four <laughs> PCs running in my studio right now, so we gotta be set. We gotta be good, all right? What I like to do first is have a look at the manual, the manual that came with your PC case. It's always a good idea to have some sort of idea, some sort of... Wow, Jesus Christ, where to start? Where, where the hell do we... S forget what i said let's have a look at the screws uh all the screws that came with the pc now you need to figure out uh, which screws you should use for the necessary pc parts of course now since i already know that but that's always the first thing you want to do make sure you got every screw needed now when you've done that it's time to open up the motherboard time to install some things onto the motherboard I'm gonna move the, the camera over to a better position. So, we're gonna start with the motherboard. And it can also be a great idea to, to just verify that, that everything is included in the box, of course. I only got 15 minutes, so we don't have time for that. So, the motherboard itself. Yes, this is a smaller form factor, but the principle is gonna be the same. Let's open up the CPU here. We got the CPU cooler. And... We got this CPU itself. So this is how I like to do it. The CPU can only be installed in one way. Now you gotta be careful here because there's pins on the CPU that is very vulnerable. Uh, and you can break them rather easily. So you gotta make sure you're doing it the right way. So if you look very carefully, you can see that there's an arrow on the upper left side corner. If you look carefully, there should be an arrow same type of arrow on the cpu itself as well here if you look carefully guys you should see a small arrow on the uh, left hand side as well just make sure you aim these up so in this case we're just gonna pop it in and it slides in you don't have to uh, put any force into it just make sure that it doesn't move around if it sits and if it looks good you know you have mounted it correctly so just we have 
successfully mounted the CPU into its socket. Next step is the RAM modules. In this case, we're gonna use the ballistic sport. Oh god damn it. This is clear evidence how you should not do. Can we uh, rewind the time and do that again? So you can only install the memories in one way. Have a look to make sure that you put them in the right way. Yeah, you don't have to apply too much force here. Simply just like that. And you will hear a solid click. Now that is the wrong way of course. Flip it around. Make it just slide. A little bit of force applied and yeah that's that that that's the click I wanted to hear CPU installed RAM modules installed what is the next step now time to install the thermal paste normally I would use uh, uh, third-party thermal paste like the uh, Arctic MX4 but in this case we're gonna go with the uh, with the boxed cooler for the sake of this video since I know there's uh, a lot of you guys that aren't gonna be uh, using a third-party cooler now this is the stock cooler from AMD and it comes with uh, thermal paste pre-applied this is pretty simple oh i almost forgot look at that i guess you need to take those out all right now in this case in order to install this cooler we need to take these mountings off so i'm gonna do that quickly this is pretty simple all you do you line up the cooler uh, you want the cooler to be facing the right way of course you want to line these screws up with the uh, with the holes respectively of course one at a time uh, be careful you wanna you wanna screw this in 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 a pattern like this and you wanna go all the way till it stops you don't have to go beyond that install it to your cpu fan header and yeah guys that's it try and see if you can hide it as much as you can something like that now guys it's time to move over to the case itself time to install the io bracket to the back of the case time to install the bracket that came with the motherboard itself take it out you want to do it from the inside and make sure that the audio is at the bottom you're gonna be fine here also make sure that the uh, the text is lining up the right way god you can't even see see what I'm talking about huh see what I'm talking about yes all right this can be a little bit tricky and you don't want to apply too much force on it you might break it if you do take your time all right all right guys so now that you got the IO shield in place it's time to install the motherboard to the case yeah these distances need to be installed at first uh, once you've got them installed they comes with the case they usually this golden color this is what they look like basically in this particular case and zxt has already done that for us so it is time for the assembly the marriage if you like laying it down make things easier let's see if i can move the camera up a bit this is where the io shield is located this is where the expansion slots is we're gonna put the motherboard inside of here and make sure that you stick it in so that you line it up with the io shield as well something like that let me just every port is lining up nicely something like that as you can see looking good right so we got four screws in total for this particular build usually you have in an ATX build you usually see I think it's 8 or perhaps 10 screws in total as long as you got patience it's all good guys it's all fine I'm super pumped for a mini ITX build like this right so as I'm finishing up the last screw guys uh, pro tip here keep the screws in the bag they came in because you don't want to lose them you don't want to be running out of screws screws so uh yeah be careful don't put too much force into each screw guys use common sense now guys it's time to install front audio power connectors to the front panel now it is time to install front audio uh, front power etc front usb yeah you're gonna be needing these cables that comes pre-installed in the case right i'm gonna see if i can show you guys what they look like so this is what the front usb 3 looks like let's get that in focus now you need to aim this up now we need to locate this port 
on the motherboard we'll see you have it here it says usb 3 uh, on the top otherwise you can just look it up in the manual that comes with the motherboard of course i have already located all the ports um and the connectors we gonna need so on this particular motherboard we will find front audio at the bottom so let's see if i can reroute the right cable and simply just install it where it should go so yeah simply connect every cable guys i'm gonna do that right now and yeah we will be right back all right now that we got uh the front audio etc connected to the motherboard it's time to uh do the uh, ssd or the um the storage and uh, i've decided to install it in the back of the case right over here now you can obviously as you can see guys it's quite a mess here cables everywhere i like to leave the cable management the last yeah, i'm gonna install it this way right make sure you got the right screws again have a look at the manual if you are uncertain time to reinstall it back into the case now let's say you have a mechanical drive as well you can simply just install it as well now once you got every storage device installed into the case it's time to rip out the sata cables again you find the sata cables with the motherboard and this is what they look like this is basically the cable you want to look for flip it around locate the sata connector on your motherboard and connect it again i'm gonna deal with the cable management later on it is finally time to rip out the power supply and start feeding the case with cables in this particular build we're gonna be using the corsair cx 650m 650 is the wattage we got a total of 650 watts which is plenty in fact it's <laughs> It's more than enough even if we throw in a GTX 1080 or 1180 for that matter it will be plenty now it's always good to have a bit of headroom I always recommend that the smell of a new technology and this is CMI modular which means that some of the cables comes on the side now how do you install this well it's pretty simple always of course look at the manual or have a look at the motherboard and see where the connector is located now as you can see we got the 24 pin connector on the very top and we got the 8 pin connector on the side here so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna feed them out from the top. Make sure that the fan is actually facing downwards, otherwise the power supply will eventually suck air from inside the case, which is not ideal. Got so much cables. All right, so we got the 24 pin connector. Serve the motherboard with power, obviously. We also got an additional eight pin connector. You're gonna be needing both of these. So uh, it's time to just locate locate the connectors on the motherboard once you get the rid of the 24 pin cable you're on easy street because this is the thickest cable careful my father always told me that easy does it we got the 24 pin in place it's time for the 8 pin connector guys this is what it looks like make sure you got it facing the right way now obviously we're not gonna be using this port but the installation of the graphics card is super simple guys just take these uh, expansion slots out and you just put it in and you install the additional cables for the graphics card no tools no nothing needed basically plug and play just push it in and you're good to go we got a few things left i always recommend to uh, buy modular power supply units if you can afford it usually they are a little bit more expensive though it is in most cases worth it because you're dealing with less cables we're just gonna be using the ones that we really need and ssds are using these rather than the old molex four pin connector so yeah that's it guys everything has been installed and uh, yeah in this case we never had to use any of the fan connectors otherwise we would have installed the fans and the fan headers on the motherboard not in this case since we're going with a smart device now it's time to clean things up a bit uh, deal with the cable management this is the fun part guys look at look at this mess yeah we're gonna 
I'm gonna fix this guys and then we're gonna come back and when we get back it's time to finally start up the system for the first time guys we're done this is basically it as you can see not rocket science <laughs> right so uh yeah we'll be back in a few moments all right guys few moments later i'm happy with the cable management cable management is important don't be lazy guys if not for you do it for the women they're gonna appreciate it now now at this point it's pretty much pedal to the metal slap on the side panel and we're gonna kick start the system all right guys time to see if the system actually starts all right yes we got screen and yeah guys that's it that's how you install pc components to a mini itx case guys that's it that's how easy it is now let me know in the comments below have you ever built a gaming pc before now until next time guys have an awesome day right bye